Okay, I'm gonna smash straight into this video tonight. I've got a little bit to talk about tonight, but not just on this video, another video will be, um, yeah, another video will be, well, you'll find out in a minute anyway. So um, I'm gonna start with uh, tomorrow. Uh, I've got an MOT on this vehicle. So the Fiat is in, the Bursner is going to the MOT station for a uh, the annual check. And uh, so I've just been out and uh, lucratively checked all my rear lights because I'm just on my own and Caroline's just uh, doing the washing up from where I've been eating my tea. But um, so I'm, I was on my own and I thought, right, I just need to uh, quickly check around my lights. So this is how we do it. Check this one out. Check all your side lights, check your fog lights and check your hazard lights. Check your brake lights without anybody else available. How good's that? So yeah, um, so we just had a little check around the lights um, and apart from that, I think we're all pretty up to speed. You know, just recently we adjusted the handbrake on this. So got a um, min very minimal travel now, which I was loving the other day for some of my uh, uh, pullaways on some of them steep hills then in Spain. Um, and uh, yeah, so we got the new discs and pads on the front. So we're all pretty cushy there. We got the uh, Mitchell and Agilis tires on uh, that have done another two and a half thousand miles, but um, there's still plenty of wear in them yet. Um, so, um, screen wash, the horn, um, yeah, just general uh, wear and tear underneath, but I think we're all uh, pretty good underneath because uh, it wasn't that long ago. I was under there with the wax oil and uh, cleaning everything up, remember, back in probably April now. <laughs> but um, yeah, it just pays to uh, do that early in the season, get get on top of them little th little bits and pieces. But uh, so tomorrow should be uh, just a formality of uh, having a uh, good examination of everything and uh, which we don't mind them having a second opinion. Let's let them rip it apart and um, which is all good bit of emissions bit of braid test and um Happy days, headlight beam, blah, 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 blah. But um, it's been for one last year, so they're all set up pretty well. So um, that's all good to go. So uh, a form, a mere formality with a bit of luck. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? Nothing. Um, yeah, so um, apart from that, um, thanks for watching all our videos uh we got some very consistent um uh, viewers now that sort of uh, watch us quite frequently and uh we're, which we do really appreciate and thanks thanks for your support on that guys um yes yeah, so Look, ooh, so the next one I was going to actually mention, so we were actually talking um, to the German couple down at uh, Beverly Park the weekend, and uh, she was actually telling me about this super duper uh, camper park uh, up near Kiel, which is up on the Baltic Sea, and she was telling us that it's likely to be one of the biggest camper parks um, in Germany uh, when it's, um, and, I, and I think it looks like it's all completed she sh showed me where it's gonna be and um, I've looked at some pictures and it looks mighty impressive I'll um, throw a picture now of that camper park um, and uh, at some point we need to try and get up around there and check that one out so uh, if you're up in that area of uh, Kiel and um, go and check it out before I do. Um, the next thing I was going to um, just mention is um, I know one particular uh, viewer has uh, been inspired about um, our Germany ventures, adventures and uh, getting out there, Eastern Germany. It's amazing. You'll love it. And um, uh, so there is an app. Uh, I haven't. I, d I think I might have mentioned this a few times before, but not just recently that I can recall. So it's an app called Top Plats. Uh, so I'm going to pull up their website on the screen now. Okay, so uh, there it is. So yeah, so there is the Top Plats on the computer screen uh like i say if you want to download the app in the app store the top plats app is available um so if you um get over to the map there's loads of information on here to um have a look at um i normally 
oh and there is a book available which i think i have the book here um in this van because uh it's one of them nice little directories so you can um, have a look around at some of the so i normally click onto the map so straight away you can see the concentration so them little um round top plaque discs are the uh, the actual locations and i'm gonna go in here uh to stad uh which is up near hamburg so the, in in the area bremerhaven um there's there's a, a few around this area you can um, just scoot around on the computer screen or like i say you can just do this on the um the app as well but i'm going to click on stad and then it comes up with the actual picture um let's have a look so there you go and there is the camper park at Stad, and these are the top class picks. Um, so they're nice locations, good situations where they're easily um, walkable to the town, which we know this camper park. And uh, it's in a beautiful area. Um, I'm just going to go down. Obviously, it's written in German, but you get the um, basis um, of the. So down here, I can see on the, the cost is 18 euros per unit for 24 hours. Um, there is electricity available at 0.75 euros per kilowatt and fresh water at 25 cents um, for 10 liters. Uh, so, and you can get more information. You can go on their website. You can go on the STAD tourist information to see what's around. So, um, it's a great app um, and it's worth having a little look uh, if you're planning a bit of a route over that direction uh, and want a really nice camper park um, to check out check out the top plats um, okay so that's that little bit of information i just wanted to pass on um, great little app uh, yeah germany check that up out um right that'll do for that then so next bit of information for you guys joff is setting up another youtube channel um ah oh, gasp <laughs> what is going on uh nothing too searing don't worry so the still the the main mayhem on mo hotel adventures is going to continue exactly where it is now um but um you know me we're always like pushing out a little bit um and hopefully next weekend our youtube channel is gonna get close we're getting close to one million views in the short space of time that we've been going um um, so we are, I'm absolutely over the moon with that and uh, yeah and yeah it's, it's just an amazing feeling to think that I used to come out here in my motorhome and talk about motorhome life and uh, and we're gradually sort of propelling on even further now it's um, a great feeling and uh, uh, and we've met a lot of amazing people through this YouTube thing you and um, a lot of our subscribers and viewers keep in contact with us and uh, it's a, it's awesome and it's just like grow the community is just like growing and, and we feel really blessed so Joffy is starting another channel Bah. <laughs> so right okay the channel is ready to go um we're all set up for the the next um little venture here um so i'm gonna pop on a picture of what the channel is going to be called um so all um there it is on my phone it's um i'll put one up on the screen as well it's gonna be called youtube motor trait am i gonna tell you this much information yeah, I've got to, because otherwise you won't go over and have a look at it. So YouTube Motor Trader. We're going to put a link in the description so you can click on it and go over and have a look. So this one tonight is finished. This is over tonight. Um, it was just a little uh, introduction to our another little uh, venture that we got going on. So if you head over there, um, you should be able to find out a little bit more. So 
thank you for watching this video tonight and uh, I hope you go over um, and maybe help me out by subscribing to that channel as well um, and that will set the ball rolling uh, for our next um, what we've got on the horizon. We'll catch you in a bit on the next channel.